To celebrate the launch of our club's new ancient rules, uh, Age of Hannibal, this week on Little Wars TV, we're bringing you a special battle episode. This six foot by four foot tabletop is the great city of Carthage, where our players today are going to be refighting the final days of an epic two year siege that ended in the spring of 146 BC. It's rare to see a miniatures game play out a full siege like this, but Age of Hannibal has a very fun, tactically challenging, three to four page chapter on how to conduct sieges. I know that you're thinking that uh, creating a tabletop like this must be a ton of work, but actually everything that you see out here, including all these little towers, they're just paper. It's a completely modular paper system of walls, towers, and gatehouses that you can print out and glue together to help you recreate any ancient siege with your existing miniatures. Carthage, Syracuse, Jerusalem, you name it. You can buy everything, the entire system, as an $8 PDF and print out as many copies as you want to make whatever size fortress that you want. All the proceeds from that PDF go to support our club and to help fill these very sad and empty candy jars. Times are so desperate that all we've got left in here are just a, a handful of Werther's Originals. Although the city is well defended, in this scenario the Romans have many options to attack Carthage's walls and gates. After consulting on the best way to envelop the defenses, our two Roman players deploy their troops. Tony plays the role of Scipio Aemilianus, with Steve serving as Golussa, the Numidian king. The city will be defended by Tom, playing as Hasdrubal, and he concentrates his infantry in the old town center. As one of the most heavily fortified cities in the ancient world, Carthage has a layered defense, with outer walls enclosing the vast, fertile farm fields, while the inner walls protect the urban core and the harbor. Tom leaves only his citizen cavalry to patrol the outer fields. Immediately on turn one, Scipio uses his fleet to land 5,000 of his best troops behind the Carthaginian infantry. Tom can only look on with concern as he considers how to respond to this amphibious attack. To prevent Tom from pulling away too many of his defenders, Steve directs multiple frontal attacks at the main gates and brings up his siege towers. Carthaginian arrows from the towers blunt a ram attack on one gate, but fail to protect a second. Okay, so you've got shooting, perhaps, with the, the onagers. two onagers at that stand in the middle. So I have a plus four and two stands, and eight. As Tony's veterans scale the undefended wall to the rear, Tom shifts his only reserve to contain the breach, but will his citizen militia be any match for the Roman triarii? Over a mile to the northwest, in the outer fields, Steve has battered down a gate, but is met with a furious Carthaginian cavalry charge. The Romans regroup to try again. <laughs> so we roll another combat? By turn three, the Romans have broken down one gate, scaled four sections of the walls, and are threatening two more. In full damage control mode, Tom must decide which breaches to contain and which he can afford to let go for now. So, can Hasdrubal and the Carthaginian garrison here manage to contain multiple Roman breaches of the walls? Well, to find out, you're going to have to go to LittleWarsTV.com. Uh, this video here on YouTube is just a short preview of the full-length battle episode that we have uh, for this special game. Uh, it is for members only on our website, but guess what? You can sign up for free. It takes about 30 seconds, and when you do sign up on the website, you'll have access to all the great bonus content that we have there. That includes uh, bonus videos like this, also uh, terrain tips, uh, scenario downloads, behind the scenes, uh, extra clips, and additional blooper reels. So uh, hop over to LittleWarsTV.com and check it out.